Good evening, software engineers. Sorry for not having a video for you earlier this week. It's been kind of crazy around the sheriff household, but you know, that's the way things are coming into the final stretch. So, hope you're doing well. Hope things are, you know, going well with the projects. I've had some great team meetings, so uh, look forward to seeing your projects. Look forward to seeing how, how everything shakes out. Um, got a few more announcements coming out that I'll send out via email, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about just some good fun. I asked for some questions for the mailbag and I'm gonna rock it through them as best I can, get through as many as I can. I think I can get through all of them. So let's get right to it. First question. Well, you'll never unsee that again. <laughs> It's the, the best costume I've ever pulled off. Um, I might be uniquely suited to it. At least the design. So, there you go. So. All right. Question two. How often should you ask questions of the senior engineers on your team as a junior? And uh, typically the answer to that question is anytime you need to. I wouldn't worry about necessarily bothering senior engineers, um, particularly if you're a new person on the team. Senior engineers know that junior engineers need to be brought up to speed, and often um, they're gonna the ones that are assigned to you as a mentor are familiar with the task. And so generally, if you're in a positive work environment, this should be something that you're doing. I mean, you know, there's reasonable social norms of not being on their doorstep literally all the time, but you shouldn't be afraid to ask those questions. Question three, what do you wish someone had told you as a student going to software engineering? Well, <laughs> funny thing about that, I'm a teacher. Um, <laughs> so, um, I wish they had told me. Things change. I was very, very proud when I, I, I left undergrad and I got my environment set up with my first job and I was like, yeah, this is great. And they're like, yeah, we're not using that. Yeah, so I guess knowing that things change and you have to adapt. I heard in Animal Crossing sometimes the characters break the fourth wall and talk about the feelings, uh, they're feeling like they're in a game. It has not happened to us yet, but then again, Sammy is the one primarily playing, so we haven't gotten terribly far. Question five, do you watch, do you watch anime? And if so, do you have any you would recommend? Um, I don't know if ashamed is the right word. I don't, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big My Hero Academia fan, actually. Um, definitely prefer the dubbed over the subbed. Um, I think the English voice actors are very good. Um, I have pro problems isn't as strong. I don't like reading the while I'm trying to watch the animation because I so enjoy the animation. Um, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. That's another nice slice of life 12 episode run that's um, just, I don't know, feels good. Um, what else have I seen recently? Um, I'm, I'm watching Konosuba now, or trying to. Um, we can't learn, we can't study. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, my two watch list is, is, a oh, uh, my witch... Little Witch Academia on Netflix uh, is good. I enjoyed that. So yeah, there's 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 several ones out there. I, I, I like, um, and if you want to go to like American style anime sort of stuff, I love Avatar. Um, I love uh, Legend of Korra. So Ca uh, Castlevania, which again, it might as well be anime. Castlevania on Netflix, it's great. Can I friend you on Oculus? And, if, and can we see an episode of you playing Beat Saber? Well, we'll see about the Beat Saber thing. Um, can it bring you an Oculus? Sure. Uh, I think it's just my Virginia EDU account. What is your go-to egg recipe? I think someone told me that this is a meme thing that I just don't know about. So I'm going to say I love making breakfast tacos. I love breakfast tacos. Um, if you've never had the Enfuego at Ivy Provisions, uh, it is super good. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten in at work as a software engineer? Um, 
I'm not the type to, 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 well, I mean, not getting things done on time. Not getting things done on time, probably. What made you decide to become a computer scientist and software engineer? Do you ever regret it or think you couldn't succeed at any point? I've always been um, a person who loved to tinker with technology. Um, always. I, I love taking apart computers, like putting them back together. Um, I found the math part of computer science interesting, but it was never my forte. Same thing with the like low level hardware architecture so sort of stuff. I've always just love the idea of putting together things for people to use, kind of that project-based stuff. So I kind of natural fit in software engineering. It was actually by happenstance I ended up in software engineering. When I was a graduate student at North Carolina State, my advisor was the software engineering instructor at the time, and she said, you know, hey, you've been a pretty good TA. Do you want to work for me and do research in software engineering? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? And it just kind of happened. And um, it probably one of the best things that ever happened to me professionally because uh, it was a perfect fit and um, it kind of went on from there. Uh, do I ever regret it? Absolutely not. Um, I come from a family of teachers and I, I love what I do. Um, do I ever think I couldn't succeed? I mean, every teacher has moments. Every teacher has moments every year. I want to thank you for taking so much time to make this class as organized as possible and staying positive and keeps on going and it, that that's that's super sweet and not a question but it, it's it's super sweet and i really appreciate that thank you so much i'd like to hear about how you decided to go to grad school and how you decided to go into teaching um i started undergrad wanting to go to law school and thankfully that went away um i took a couple computer science classes and it just i just fell in love with the idea of working with code and I've always been someone who enjoyed uh, helping other people's uh, helping other people learn. Um, yeah, uh, I come I come from I'm family of teachers, and just the way it worked out. My mom was a teacher. Um, my dad my dad wasn't, um, but my brother in law is a te is a teacher. My wife is a teacher. My sister is a teacher. Her parents are teachers. Um, my aunt was a teacher. I mean, just kind of the, the whole family. So I also love to hear how you bounce playing video games. It was easier earlier in my career when I didn't feel like I had to stay up till two in the morning getting stuff done. And when I didn't have a child. Um, honestly, the parenting thing has made it harder to balance video games than career, to be completely honest. Um, when it was just me and my wife, I would have more time just to... You know, I was raiding in World of Warcraft, so not so much now, but cer certainly then. Uh, let's see here. I'm on track to graduate when I'm 20. Okay, this question goes on. Uh, concerned about office party. So I'll read this question later. It's about like uh, you're in the office and and folks who drink. Um, you know, I actually asked around when I saw this question just to get a, a feel for it, and everyone was kind of like, yeah, in our environments, no one really cares. Um, I've heard things about party culture in the California scene more, um, but not as much in the places where, where at least people I know are, are working. Uh, I personally don't drink. That's just, you know, it's a personal choice. I, I've, I've never had an alcoholic beverage I actually enjoyed. I've tried plenty and I'm just like, I don't, I just don't like it. I just don't like the taste. So whatever. And no one's ever given me crap about it before. Um, so there you go what's the longest continuous time you've spent playing video games continuous I had a fr uh, me and a friend tried to gosh tried to run all of Tron Legacy in one day I don't know why but we tried um and that was not even the best game to do something like that with. Um, but yeah, that's probably it um, when we try to overnight that. My time at IBM. So um, IBM has a major facility in Raleigh near North Carolina State, relatively north, near North Carolina State. And um, 
they develop several projects there and one of the ones is called Tivoli and Tivoli is some server it's like server maintenance room software so it's the software you ins install on all the machines in a large data center and it tells you when the hard drive has failed and what you need to go fix and it's it's monitoring software so I was on a team that was doing modeling for that and trying to predict how long it would work and not work and and um, we were looking at um, some of their defect rates and uh, their source control system to see how it all fit together. I actually was never able to work on the actual project. I was in the kind of support research area. Um, so the highlight of my time at IBM was butter chicken day in the cafeteria. <laughs> like it there i didn't like it there very much and this is nothing against ibm it just it i didn't like it i just didn't like it i didn't like working in a place where i felt like if i um if i left at five i was looking over my shoulder to see if um someone was noticing that i was leaving early or anything like that i i just did not like that at all i, I shared an office with no window um and I, my office mate was fine um, but it was cold. Um, we had free sodas. I mean, nothing like what y'all get at some of your internships. I'm sorry if your internships are canceled. Um, one of my, one of my best friends, um, who I was, I was in grad school with her and, and we've been friends for 20 years and have done a lot of the work together. She was working there as well. And so at least that was good. But I mean, I had a nice manager. I had, um, it was really good butter chicken. I it just was. It was like some of the best butter chicken I ever had. And it was like every Tuesday and we would go down early to make sure we got it. So yeah, I'm sorry. That's as exciting as my time at IBM is. What are some good resources to use when writing tests? Um, as dumb as this is going to sound, the requirements document for whatever project you're working on because the requirements document is gonna tell you what you should be testing to make sure you know what you should be testing. Um, if you mean from a technical perspective, then you need to look at whatever the major library is for the system that you're using. Um, thinking about boundary test cases is very, very important. So I'd go with that. I need to speed this up a little bit. Uh, what are your thoughts on Overwatch? I think Overwatch is, uh, the world building is incredible. It is very Blizzard, and I love the world building. And I am horrible at the game, and I cannot watch it because it almost gives me a headache. But man, I love the world building. How do you see everything going now, going on now, impacting as soon as graduating in the next couple of years? Do you think it'd be harder for you to find positions? Um, there's going to be something. There's going to be some residual effect, but honestly... If there's one sector that's able to handle remote stuff, it's going to be tech. And particularly with as much as everyone else is now relying more on tech in order to do their jobs, I, I think positions might be more challenging in unto themselves, but I, I don't think it's going to be terribly difficult to find positions still. That's my guess, at least. What made you pursue teaching? I love helping people. Um, I, I have a, as dumb as it's gonna sound, I have a theater background too. And so there's a performance aspect in teaching that I really enjoy. Uh, were you planning on focusing on research? I was never planning on focusing on research. Nope. I enjoy research, but the concept of writing grants for my job, nope, nope. I love to teach. Do you have a spirit animal? Turkey vulture. Uh, has work gotten easier since moving online and being self-quarantined? How will you feel if, if next semester is online as well? Has it gotten easier? I like making these videos, honestly. I I, I really have, I, I've enjoyed it. Um, so that that's kind of cool. Um, I, I think helping y'all manage the team projects has been really challenging. I think the email, amount of email I've had to deal with has been really challenging. I think working from home has been really challenging uh, just from a way of being able to be focused and actually get stuff done. I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't know because you're, you're dealing with it too. Um, 
How'd I feel if next semester was online? <sighs> Bummed, just because I'd rather be with everyone. Um, I sincerely miss just walking into Professor Horton's office or to Tychonovich's office and just chatting. Um, it, it's amazing to me how much of my my job I got done just going into their office and just talking about, hey, we need to talk about how this class is working. We need to talk about how the curriculum's working. And now that just doesn't happen. Um, I mean, we still talk, but it's not nearly as, as common. And, and like today, you know, Professor Horton's one of my best friends and I don't get to talk to him. I mean, we have to, I have to schedule time to Zoom chat with him and it's just, yeah, from a professional standpoint, it really is kind of a bummer. What's your ideal day? Uh, Disney World. Disney World with my family. What keeps you motivated through, through this ordeal? Um, honestly, I just want to make sure y'all have the best experience that you can. You know, part of, part of my job is to, part of my job, my job is to educate my, you know, I like to think of teaching as being um, a, a weird dungeon master where, uh, I create challenges that are educational things and you are leveling up as you move through hence some of the XP stuff. So yeah, it's really nerdy, but you know, I, I, I know that, that, that many of you are having a hard time and you know, I, I can't say that, that I haven't had some challenges, but I know that I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that I'm in a position where I'm not terribly worried about my job going away or, <clears throat> or my, my family's, my extended family's jobs, they're all teachers too. And, you know, I'm not worried about their positions going away. So I feel like I'm in a, I'm in kind of a stable area. Um, so I feel really, really fortunate about that. Um, so anything I can do to try and bring something happy or at least not stress y'all out, um, that's what I'm working on. Who's your favorite comedian? Eddie Izzard, probably. Yeah, probably Eddie Izzard. I saw him live uh, at the Paramount downtown. He was fantastic. Um, also love um, Louis Black. Um, top five albums of all time. Man. Um, Matchbox 20s. Um, Yourself or someone like you, Matchbox 20. Someone's going to hate on me for this. Um, Linkin Park's Meteora, but that has a lot of ties to my first few years in grad school. Um, another go-to album. Um, Guster. Almost all the Guster albums. I'm a big Guster fan. So Guster probably fills out the other three slots. So there you go. What do you miss about the pre-mass internet area? Rumor mongering on the internet, driving, convincing people to do stupid things. What's been the highlight of teaching 3240? I love seeing the projects. I, I'm always blown away at the end of the semester and see what everyone's put together. Um, that is that is always great. Um, lectures are fun. I love seeing your projects. That's always great. So working with a TA staff, that's always great. If you had to choose one game to play for the rest of your life and no other games, what would it be? Probably Hearthstone, just because I already play it a lot and it is pretty repeatable and has a lot of good modes in it. I guess World of Warcraft probably a, a fair second. Would you rather discover you can summon the rains or cause people to fall asleep near you, but you're not sure exactly that it triggers either of these events? Fall asleep, I guess, if I'm answering the question, that's hard to parse. Would you rather have 10 minute conversation with your five year younger self or your five year older self? Five year older self. I know what my five year younger self is doing. My five year younger self is dealing with a baby and that dude does not want to talk to me right now. I mean, maybe, maybe I can tell him, hey, it gets better. But Sammy is a baby. She was colicky and very screamy. So, but probably five years from now. 
Would you rather have a shower that cleans you for seven days straight or a bed that gives you a day's rest in an hour? By far, a bed that gives me a day's rest in an hour because I don't sleep enough as it is. I will probably sleep about four hours tonight and that will be the third night in a row. If you could have one hour of the highest quality footage from any period of time in the history of the world, what would you like to see? I would like to see um, probably ancient Rome. I love ancient Rome, ancient Greece, mythology. Love that time, that time period. So there you go. Do you play Smash? Yes. Who's your main? Ness. Did you always know you want to be a teacher or thought you want to do something or thought you want to do something other than CS? I pretty much, once I got into computer science, I, I knew I kind of wanted to go into higher education. Suppose that COVID-19 makes a jump from humans to computers. You are the one chosen to stop it. Ooh, I'm like Tron. Neat. Um, what would your superhero name be? What framework would you use? <laughs> Is this a guided practice? Um, Captain McAfee. I don't know. Um, what framework would you use? Uh, okay, Django. I don't know. Let's pick something. What's an advice you'd give to asp aspiring software engineers? Never stop learning. Never stop learning. In, 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 you know, if any, you get any opportunity to, to learn more tools and techniques in your position, you're able to go and uh, take tutorials, take classes, things like that. Never stop learning because when you get in a rut, that's when things get boring. That's when you start doing the same mistakes over and over again. Always keep learning. You get to stay with, uh, get to spend a day with one person, however you wish, and you get three choices. Man, y'all wait to tell on this. The creator of your favorite game, the person you looked to looked up to as, as a kid, or the person who accomplished your favorite piece of technology theory, computer science. Who would you choose and why? Did I get to pick one of those three? Okay, so let's just say this. Um, the creator of my favorite game. Okay, I'm gonna say Ben Brode for Hearthstone because that dude looks like a lot of fun to hang out with. The person you looked up to as a kid. So that's like my dad, so that's a little too easy. And the person who's accomplished your favorite piece of technology theory. I mean, I think it'd be cool to hang out with Johnny Ive and like how in the world do you design some of these Apple products? I think that would be really interesting. Or Steve Jobs. I mean, I'm guessing in any time frame here, like I think pro probably Steve Jobs. What drives you to teach this course with such passion? Ooh, that's very kind. Um, oh, that's very nice of you to say those things. Um, I love software engineering. I love, I love thinking about how do we work together to build cool stuff. So yeah. If you could pick up on any skill in the world right now, what would it be and why? Virus killing. Because obvious reasons. I don't, um, I really want to get back to actually making my own video games. So programming in Unity, I need to get back to that. When do you think this pandemic will be over? Will we be able to return in the fall? This is the last question, actually. God, I wish I knew. Um, you know, for me, I, I'm looking, I know what my May looks like. I know what the early part of June looks like because my wife and daughter, you know, they're, they're going through normal end of school, like elementary school time. Summer is the summer. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of focusing on that area as much as, much as I can. I have, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. My current belief, I guess, which I don't know if it's really based on much, is we'll open in the fall as normal, but um, we're going to have a directive that we have to be able to pull the trigger on jumping to online at any moment. So I think that we're going to be kind of on pins and needles through through fall that's my guess i think we'll still i think we'll end up on grounds i hope i hope we'll end up on grounds um but i i really think that they're gonna say you know 
be ready on 24 hours notice to go home and start going from there. So that that's my guess. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend who works at UVA Medical, and they said that um, things there, they were expecting a big peak, and the big peak didn't happen. And in fact, it, it started to flatten out. And so that UVA Medical was actually dropping their their threat level down, that they were going back to doing other surgeries and things like that. So um, that it's going to be sustainable. So it looks like, at least in the Charlottesville area, barring anything crazy, it looks like we've got it under control but I know a lot of places are not that fortunate. So I, I feel good that in Virginia, um, whether you Democrat, Republican, whatever your political leaning is, um, we do have a governor who is a actual physician, which I am appreciative of, someone I feel like that, you know, will look at the science of, of, of what's going on before, you know, providing guidance for the Commonwealth. Um, but all we can really do is put one foot in front of us at this point and keep doing the best that we can. So, you know, I am incredibly proud of y'all for what you've been doing in 3240 for the past month and a half, um, for sticking with me through these videos, for... Um, being uh responsive to to comments and questions to um reaching out to your teams i've heard some very positive team experiences i've heard some negative team experiences uh truth be told that would be happening if we were on grounds too it just got exacerbated um when we moved to this to this model um but i'm proud of y'all uh, i think you've you you've hung in there i know some of you are still are still struggling i know some of you are coming back from places where um, you were sick, you had family members that were sick, you lost loved ones. Um, I, I truly sorry for all of you and that, um, you know, the CS department, you know, we want to, we want to be here for you. We want to make sure that we can help you out in any way that we can and make sure that you're keep moving forward in your, in your degree, because, um, you came to us for an education and we want to make sure we fulfill that promise to you. And we want to make sure that you, um, live whatever dream it is that, that you have moving forward in your career. Um, is it going to be harder this, this go around? Maybe. Um, it's certainly been a little bit harder this past month and a half. Although I did have one student tell me in, 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 in open Q and a that I think the class got better once we went online. So <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that whole in-person thing. So, um, I'm going to have one more video for y'all, at least one more video for y'all before we wrap up. Um, I, I need to do an overview of the class, give you kind of a where we went and, uh, and all that sort of thing. And then kind of a, some final thoughts. But I just wanted to throw out a little quick fun, fun video here, although this probably wasn't that quick. No, it was half an hour. Um, so hopefully you take some joy from this. I can fix it. Have a good evening. Bye.